Hey, we're here down on 17th Avenue with Dino Falvo, the owner of Amato Gelato. It's the grand opening of their new location. Thank you for having me. Appreciate that. Please, yeah. guys, come in. Let's go. Benvenuti. Hey, check it out. We're down at Amato Gelato on 17th. This is actually their grand opening of their second location. I'm here with Dino, and if you missed it, we talked about gelato and their 96 flavors, and we talked about legitimate, authentic espresso and pastries and donuts from Italy. And now we're going to talk about all the other things that Dino does. So yeah, what else we got absolutely. Going on? So the cafes are our sister company, yeah. but a uh, big portion of our business, which is our everyday business, is we distribute uh, and manufacture gelato throughout all of Canada. Uh, into the United States, into Japan and Korea and Asia and China especially right. uh, is a big market for us. Uh, we produce close to 65,000, 70,000 liters a day. Uh, we wow. deal with a lot of chain restaurants across the country. Um, and this is manufactured in Vancouver? In Vancouver, correct. Right. Yeah, so we're constantly uh, coming up with uh, new recipes, new ideas, yep. uh, restaurants, hotels, grocery customers, because we manufacture our containers that uh, you find in uh, half liter containers. So you'll find those in local grocery store, right. uh, chain grocery stores. We do a lot of private label for chain grocery stores um, because they're looking for a premium brand. We're not a, a value brand. If right. somebody's looking for a value brand, then you go to those national uh, big uh, uh, companies, right. not not to somebody like us. So we we're in the premium category, okay. but we're in a premium uh, price that we find uh, in the grocery section. Okay. Um, but yeah, so it's uh, it's a busy business. We have over three thousand customers across Canada that we deal with. Wow. Um, many customers in the United States, along a, into California and Seattle and Washington and Oregon. Yeah. Um, and uh, overseas in Asia is uh, is a big market market for us okay that's that's incredible and you were just telling me about actually to transport all this around you actually have trucks that you brought yeah, from Italy yeah we've been using these uh, we've been using these specialized uh, delivery trucks uh, yeah. actually my drivers right here with one of them right now <laughs> um, we bring them direct from Italy um, the nice thing is is that the, they're the most environmentally friendly option in the market. Uh, we don't use any reefers, we don't use any gas to run those reefers. Yeah. It's uh, a cold plated technology system that I I in Italy we've been using for the, at the beginning of uh, distributing ice cream. Um, and what's nice is it, you know, we plug it in overnight, it reaches down to minus 40 degrees Celsius yeah. and it stays frozen all day for us. Wow. We're in and out quick. so. Very inexpensive on uh, diesel and gas, yeah. and uh, no no gas or propane or anything to run the the reefer service. So it's a uh, it's a very interesting truck. And every time we're at other uh, uh, distributors that we're dropping off our product to, the, yeah. the other truck companies are always asking us, guys, where the hell did you get this truck from? I've never seen anything like this. And we kind of show them, and they're like, yeah. whoa, and, uh, you can, you know, minus 40 is a pretty cold temperature. Even reefers don't go down to that right. that cold. So there you go. Talk about authentic experience. Even the trucks <laughs> are from Italy. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So you're serving 3,000 customers across Canada. You know, are there are there customers or stores out there that you would just love to work with? That well, we what our thing is is that we work with customers that are looking for high quality products yeah. at a good at a good value yeah. that they can make an ROI on their on their purchases, and they're looking for consistent service, right. especially this day and age now with supply chain issues, and we are dealing with supply chain issues from a manufacturing turn of ingredients. Um, but I think that's one of the things that we're because we're such good manufacturers and we have good procurement, we have suppliers that we've been dealing with for 30, 40 years. A lot of the ingredients that we can get, we try to get in Canada, but a lot of the ingredients I can't get durian from uh, Southeast Asia in, right. in, in, in Canada. Right, because you're bringing in the fresh ingredients from all over. All over the world that it comes. And, you don't and, even get that in Italy. No, right? no, in Italy they're yeah. using, majority of the product that's made in Italy is made from paste from uh, gelato base manufacturers and whatnot, because right. I, I don't know the last time uh, there was a mango tree planted in Italy, so uh, uh, th that stuff doesn't exist there. But we try our best, and the thing is, is that our customers that are looking for that, it's very important for restaurants especially, because we're very predominant in food service. Food service is our go-to. Go right. And restaurants, they, they're done, they call us 24 hours, the next day we're, we're delivery to their thing. Restaurants are f more fluid than they are grocery stores. Okay. Uh, restaurants run out of stuff, they need stuff next day. So restaurants that are looking for high quality products, whether it's the gelato, whether it's the uh, pastries and cakes and everything I bring from Italy, whether it's the coffee that I bring right. from Italy, that are looking for authentic Italian, 
this is what we what, what we and offer. And we actually talked about custom flavors to complement custom desserts at Absolutely. And, right? And it is a big thing for restaurants. Restaurants yeah. want to be unique. Restaurants want to be different. And uh, that's something that that's something that we specialize uh, heavily on. I just did some uh, work for a new restaurant that was making a Turkish coffee yeah. and they wanted a cardamom vanilla. So okay. it's cardamom vanilla, but they want a specific type of cardamom. Right. So, you know, it's, it's not so easy to get these kind of things when you don't have that procurement for the last 43 years, 44 years in Canada where we have. Yeah. You can't just pick up the, you can't just go to some grocery store and pick up cardamom off the shelf that doesn't work you yeah, know what yeah. i mean so okay. it's it's a, it's a, it's a, it's not an easy game it's not an easy game and it's not an easy game to stay consistent all the time right. and especially with uh, with gelato it's uh, it's not an easy it's not an easy product to work with it's very difficult uh, because each flavor has its own recipe yeah you can't just open up a can it's you can't just, just dump it in put dump in it in flavor. and put it in a machine and say here i got gelato yeah. that's fine that that works but that's not what we do okay so uh, well, I love it. I can feel the passion. I can see it in the place. We've got the Italian colored balloons here everywhere. Uh, it's, it's fantastic. So thanks a lot, Dino, for having us down here. You're welcome. And you guys got to come on down. We're on 17th Avenue and 5th Street or in Kensington. Come have gelato. Check it out. Thanks a lot, uh, guys. All weekend, we're going to be doing uh, specials, uh, $3 singles, uh, half price cocktails, half price appetizers. Um, uh, free wine tasting, liqueur tasting. Okay. It's gonna be a, It's gonna well, be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Something for everybody. You Come got it. Down. All right. Thank you.